Hey guys, today is a Sunday, May the 6th. Um, so I'm gonna try to make this video pretty quick. Um, guys, I had a dream this morning and um, I, I believe it's from the Lord. I believe it's, you know, very significant and um, and um, he could be very well be pointed to a time frame, basically the time frame we're in now. And um, I'd like to go over it now. So pretty much it started me and a family member, we entered a building and there were a large number of people inside. And essentially that this family member was going to sign me up so I felt like maybe they were gonna sign me up to be a member of a group of a something and I think it may be you know there's something I'm already a member of a group you know I'm signed up to be a member of a group of something already and so in the dream it felt like maybe they were gonna sign me up to be a member of of, of this group now the fact that I'm already in this group I know the Lord saying signing up to be a member is basically signing up to be a, a member of the world you know, signing up to be a, a member of the world. Um, that's what the signing up represents. So they were going to sign me up. So, you know, me and this family member, we sat down and I was have, having trouble signing my name and writing. So signing my name and then also writing like a short sentence. I don't know if it was an O for something like I was having trouble. I just couldn't do it. And, um, an art and then following this, an argument started between me and this family member. So an argument, and, um, and in real life, this specific family member, it is difficult living under the same roof with them. They are, um, they are under heavy demonic influence. Um, they um, are very controlling. Um, a lot, lots of you know, vulgar. It's just, it's not a good situation. Now, now the Lord did show me in a dream not too long ago that they will be delivered during the great, you know, during the tribulation. They will be saved, which is awesome. Um, but so an argument started between me and this family member and um, our, our voices got louder and louder to the point of yelling. So at, at one point, we we're literally yelling at each other at the top of our voices. You know, and I was telling him like, you, you know, you want like, you know, or something like you want me to, you know, well, you know, you know, you want like perfection. You want me to be perfect. And, it, and the problem is, yeah, this person, this family member is too perfectionistic. Whereas, you know, deep down inside in my heart, I'm a very simple person, a, a simple, simple person. Um, I try to do things simply, um, you know, at times I can be perfectionistic, but that's because I like to do the right thing. Like I like to do, you know, quality, I like quality, but at the same time, deep down inside, I'm, I'm actually a very simple person, but this, per, per, this family member is perfectionistic. And you could even say like OCD on a lot of things. And, um, so we started yelling at each other. Um, this, the family member, this family member was being very mean. And then at a certain point we both stood up and, um, we kind of separated to where I started shifting my attention to the people in the room. There were a lot of people in this room. I shifted my attention to them. And I think I may have even been standing on top of the tables and I started warning the people that they need to accept Jesus Christ. And this, while I was doing this, this family member continued, continued yelling to, to try to distract the people. So if you see videos of street preachers and how these demonic possessed people come up and try to distract the audience from hearing the street preacher that's what this family member was doing they were essentially acting very demonic and trying to distract the uh, other people in the room and um mo most of the people in the room seemed interested in what i was saying and at a certain point i specifically i told them that they have one to two weeks left y'all have one to two weeks left then after i said that i started telling them that they have about one week left i said this multiple times y'all you know you y'all have about one week left and um and then i noticed one person in the room uh, in the building, the room seemed very interested in, or she maybe knew exactly what I was saying. It, it was a brunette, like white. She she was she seemed very interested. Like I think we may have locked eyes, and I, I think she may have basically like we were on the same board, the same wavelength. Like she knew what was exactly getting ready to happen. That's what it felt like, or she was extremely interested, and um, and um, and the thing is uh, and the, it's like weird. When I woke up, I may like I may have felt it may have been Christy Rivera. And um, now the weird thing is I don't watch her channel. I don't watch her videos. Like her videos have popped up before, but it's like, I, I'm not subscribed to her. I don't watch her channel. Um, but I don't know why her name kind of was in my mind when I woke up. So I don't know for a hundred percent certainty if it was Christy Rivera, but sister, if you listen to this video, just let me know if anything sticks out to you or if you've having, had any, you know, words, dreams, visions, and so forth from the Lord where he's, where he, if he's letting you know, we have like one to two weeks left or about one week left because I'm curious. I, I don't know if it was a hundred percent certain her, um, 
but it's like we were on the same wavelength. We were, we knew exactly like, like that's what I felt like. Like we were basically like she knew what was getting ready to happen or she was extremely interested in what I was saying. And then at a certain point, someone put their fingers in or hands over this family member's ears and they settled down. So, you know, like the, the maneuver, like when they, they, you see in the movies, they press the nerve in the neck and the person like collapses or falls. That's what it seemed like. Like someone literally put over my family members, the specific family member, they put their, like it was fingers in the ear or hands over the ears and the family member just settled down. I don't know. I can't remember if they collapsed or it's like they just got quiet. And that was all the dream. That's all I remember from the dream. So guys, I think the Lord very well could be pointing to now. Yesterday, I did have a couple of uh, uh, confirmations with regards to the San Antonio dream, um, specifically the Alamo, um, literally two separate ones where um, it was pretty crazy. Um, and even May 1st, I had a specific confirmation. So that fell in the May 1st to 5th time frame for my San Antonio dream. And um, so two, one Alamo confirmation May 1st, two Alamo confirmations yesterday for May 5th. I also had another um, confirmation, I believe, for something else yesterday. And then I even had, like when I was talking about the, the, the box truck with the crosses, it was weird. Th th three, three crosses, one on each side, the left, the right, the back, kind of small. The truck was like beat up and it didn't even, um, it was weird, no company name, just everything else was white, and then it's just small, like, almost crosses, and it didn't even look professionally done, it was really interesting, like, almost like it's time to move out, it's time to go home, you know, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, we're about to leave, the three crosses, and, um, so I take this dream as very serious, in the dream, I felt like the Holy Spirit on me, Yes, I was getting in an argument, but I shifted my focus to the people in the room to let them know about Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, and I was telling him, you know, we have, there's about one week left. There's about one week left. And um, I take it as, you know, very serious because I could feel, you know, in the dreams where you could feel the Holy Spirit on you and you're, you're preaching or it's very serious. Like, I mean, very, very serious. That's what this felt like. So I'm basically